sure. We are live. All right, welcome back, everybody. Space chase. Space chase in space. 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 All right. So as we all kind of agreed, we'll try and do this as a ch more of a cinematic chase to and, and slash race to the gate. We can get there first and get out. <clears throat> All right. Uh, last we left the PCs, uh, the crew has basically crashed. Our control crashed into the uh, dock of uh, the Pilgrim, leaving the crew kind of stranded from their duties on board the Pilgrim while they try and decon themselves. This leaves the Pilgrim's crew itself to uh, act independent of the PCs and get you guys out through the gate. Uh, the kind of the slow zone escape image kind of shows a gen general idea of how the ships were positioned before the chase began. We will call uh, the PCs at short range to the Varger ship as it was trying to take pot shots at uh, your shuttle. And at a medium range, just, just hair be uh, into medium range to Calaman's ship while the same will hold, well, the sort of reverse will hold true for the patrol cruiser against them. You will be pretty much at a uh, tech. If you were to shoot at the patrol cruiser, we would call that probably medium range to the patrol cruiser if you were to take shots at him. Should we not put the, the patrol cruiser in the medium range band then? However, should they maybe resize those. I can't get them any smaller. My, I had these at a odd scale initially. What if so, you lock, lock token scale on something that's small and then resize? Yeah, I won't let me make that any smaller. That's better. Oh crap! We're 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 facing Centauri ships. Watch out for the Narn. Oh, they're Farger. They look like Centauri ships. Well, this is, I think the Centauri. Well, see, Traveler was before. <laughs> okay, so uh, they will so. Since we will consider them the uh, object of your chase, we will call this what? Should we set a set number of turns to escape? Uh, that would Hell seem reasonable. About, um, actually, no, that's not going to work. I was thinking perhaps because the range bands have a hex component to them so each turn you move your range band but that's not going to work are you actually seeing the the Varker Corsair on there I'm seeing two Should I be one? Pop whisk, it's gone. Well, it's there. It's just I moved it to the top so I can use it to select its uh, actions. All right. So, uh, since we will call the enemy the the quarry, and you guys the pursuers, I will select 
now. Uh, we will let Ella, you being the captain in either which way we go, you will select your crew's maneuver. Everyone else, if I uh, will be gunners or on your actions as engineers or whatever, if you can give potential bonuses. I'll say for every successful potential assist, we'll give you guys a plus one bonus on the uh, maneuver checks or chase rolls. How's that sound? So if you think of something that sounds cool, roll your dice. If you succeed, you'll gain a plus one to the uh, maneuver bonus or skill roll required. Make it sound simple enough. If unless you're shooting, in which case you're shooting. I affirmative. All right. Uh, the Varger ship will be choosing to attack. Oh, I guess they'll move and attack. These guys will attempt to straight move. We should move and attack. And so the we patrol group will attempt a move and attack, leaving you guys to choose your own. I think move and attack. Us move and attack? Yes. Unless our pilot is really good. Well, but if you remember, we're stuck at the same speed. All ever, around. Ever. Yeah, there's not going to be any speed bonuses. Right. Yeah, but so okay. it comes down to pilot skill for the chase right. roll. So if our pilot is really good, then we can risk doing an attack and um, suffer the penalty. Okay. I guess we are moving and attacking. Where'd the thing All go? Right. Yeah, I'm getting a whole bunch of those runtime errors now. Like every time you move the tokens, the ship things. I keep actually losing the tokens. Yeah, the, our ship token disappeared. Huh. I That's keep odd. losing you guys' messages in the board. Somebody broke something. I'm all good here. No errors or anything like that. Do you still see uh, the pilgrim token over move and attack? Yep. Why don't did I you, see it? Did you update Fantasy Grounds? I did. Yeah. I did. Brian, did you? Yes. Did you clear your cache? Yes. Did you get the error when you cleared your cache? Or did it say successfully cleared? I got an error, so I exited out of Fantasy Grounds and manually deleted everything in the, ca in the cache. Huh. The error that you're getting, what is it? One second. Mine went away. It was there. Oven timer went off. You can get back to the console by typing slash console in the chat. And it's empty. They're gone. I closed down the console window and now they're gone. But it was a whole bunch of those runtime errors. But I don't remember. It was something about an image. Yeah, I think I think it, for for me it was that same uh, DX or D three DX create texture failed or something. 
I could be wrong. If you close the map and then reopen it, does it change stuff for you? What was the name of the map? Chase Chart. That's no, that's not the map. Slow Zone, the escape. Weird. Nope, no errors. Still don't see our uh, icon, but as long as it's there. All right, so we've selected, looks like everyone's going to take shots at each other. While Calaman tries to make, or Calaman, the Calaman ship tries to make a straight up escape. I'm going to try to shoot him. Right. Okay. Uh, so oh, no, range band medium range. will be a minus, we'll call it a minus seven. There, general term? It says minus seven to minus ten. We'll call it minus seven. All right, so we'll go ahead and... Right, so we resolve it. attacks. Got it. All right, Jim not appearing in this picture. Armin. Not appearing in this picture either. She's in a... She's in, stuck in... All right, well, okay. She'll be, everybody. Yeah, she'll be making a, an attack. So, uh, Loki, you should have seen like a... Uh, an NPC block that says Aimless Pilgrim Pilot. Yep. And you should, if you scroll, you see beam, oh, excuse me, beam lasers. And uh, there's a drop down. You should be able to see beam. Yep. Just roll. You will be at a minus seven. Minus seven plus four for rate of fire. So total of minus three. I thought 20 was 5. Well, it says success by 2, so would that be... Uh... Nope, 20 is plus 4, 17 to 24. Yeah, that's going to miss. Okay. And if you're going to be just announced if you're shooting at the... If you're shooting at the Calaman ship, it'll be minus 7. If you're shooting at the Fargo ship, it'll be a minus 5. All right. It doesn't really yeah. matter, but uh, Mark, you may want to set the recoil from zero to one since oh. you can't have a zero recoil. I think the rule set calculates it as a one anyway, but um, just for correctness. Roger. And everyone, anyone else, uh, there's going to be only two other people can yep. shoot. And they will have to be pulse lasers. I really missed. That's fine. All right. And wow. Hank will fire, uh, take over the next one, and will hit. Is at Kellerman ship, so dodge. All right, somebody did something, because now my console popped up. What does it say? Runtime error, D3DX create texture failed, D3D pool underscore managed. Wow, Huzzah. even with a dodge of seven. I still succeed by one. 
So, four so, hits. Uh, three hits. Five hits. Five. Oh, that was one too many. Right. Uh, damage. Uh, do all do we want to roll once, or... Do it all! I'll just do it, yeah. You know, uh, roll once, if you like it. Or, well, or do it all. It doesn't matter. DR60 with a 5. Definitely going to need to have that. Up wow, that. you were all over the place, wasn't he? Evidently. Oh, yeah. How much of that actually gets through? I'm figuring that out right now. Because you're... Armor Divisor 5 against a DR60. Zero. You'd have to do at least 13 to get a point through, I think. Alright, so total injury of 19. Okay. I'm trying to remember how many people did they have. I don't remember how that works. Right. Wow. Did the Fantasy Grounds forum update like last night? Ah. Looked normal a minute ago. The who? What? I'm seeing really ugly form. Uh, what is the size mod? Oh, yeah. Uh, size mod is going to be, looks like nines across the board. Nines. Everybody's nine. Uh, okay, that. number of occupants. Which case we would have had a plus six total to hit, not a minus three. Right, right, right. Knew we were missing something. Which means both of I would have potentially hit once, and uh, Ashlyn would have potentially hit. Five times. Dang. All right. So give me five damage rolls at D7. Number of occupants. Uh, I don't know what's a standard crew complement. We'll say that. Uh, Say 20. 20? Roger, 20. How big is the ship? Nine. No, I mean tonnage wise. 400, 400. wasn't it? Alright, uh, occupant hit roll is going to be a six. Well, the 400 ton, the lightning class has. Nine officers, five petty officers, and 13 crewmen. Or whatever the book says. Well, I don't, know, I don't know what that is. I don't know what class that ship is. You could probably use system defense boat as being a fairly standard. Well, it's going to be a six or a seven. If it's more, it'll be seven. Well, it's probably less because they've they've lost some people. That's true. Now are we nine? Or seismon nine? I thought we were. 
looking. Size mod nine, yes. Size uh, mod nine. Current crew is yeah. Call it twenty. Nine. So yeah, I would just say twenty. Uh, looks like we're gonna be in the seven. I have to dodge against her ship after all. Yeah, and I may have hit once. Though it's not going to do a lot of damage. Alright, so I will remove one shot from her. Okay. Ow, you're beating that ship up pretty good. All right, so his chance to dodge against you will fail. <coughs> All right, so give me one uh, pulse damage for... Right. So, all right. Well, first health. Uh, so, <clears throat> you will bring it down to a requiring a health roll. Which will succeed. And now, patrol cruiser firing at Varger. We should let carry roll for those guys yeah all right there you go you have the patrol cruiser what are the stats are they going to be any different from uh ours they have a, a yeah, shoot of 12. so just fire both of their things oh, the yeah, it, the thing you don't want to do is missiles aren't going to go any faster than ships, so they just, at this point, won't catch up. Varger don't know that. They might. They might now. Shoot the blue stuff and the green stuff, and I'll be in my ready room. Let me know how it goes. All right, so that's what? Shooting at the Farger, that's a minus five, plus nine is a plus four. Wait, no, yeah, plus four. What's the rate of fire? Uh, same, so 20. Plus eight. Where are you pulling the range? All right. It was just said medium. Yep, medium. Or, well, yeah, but is that for... Is that Varga's action, short. action chase medium? Yeah. And we're just doing five. Is it because so that's, that's totally different than space medium. Right. Which I means no we're, we're like right on top of each other in space terms. We're right on top of each other. Well, we might be. Yeah, you're basically right on top of each other. You're basically right on top of each other. All right. I hate when that happens. Yeah, we're 30 yards apart. Eh, you're not that far apart. I don't know 30. what the space freight medium is. You're probably well, space medium, but for chase purposes here. Well, I'll just keep going and yep. we'll sort it out. We'll just call it minus fives and whatnot. Okay, All right. That was so. I will need some damage rolls for uh, 
the space range table. I think that's going to be at least five hits. I'm going to take one and multiply it. All right. Eh. All right. Not such a good choice. How many hexes away are they? One, two, five. Whew, that's minus 16 in space range. Well, it's probably more appropriate. Of course, as close as we are, they're going to turn around and do the same thing to us. That is very true. That's right. Except we're we... all going to die horribly before we can get anywhere. But we have a genius pilot, right? Sure. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the, uh, the range band yards and the space range doesn't quite work together. Yeah, I... I think if you just doubled it, so you go one, two, four, eight. So on top of each other, just say so instead of being five, just go call it ten. Oh, you're. What do you no, mean? You're, you're thinking of different things. No, I was uh, looking to take the space range at like one and double it for each band. So, I guess close would be one, short would be two, medium would be four. Even that's not going to be enough. Yeah, probably not. I think the uh minus sixteen. Five hexes. See laser range is out to six. Yeah, that that's probably closer, but it looks like it should be a total penalty of minus three. Yeah. Which isn't terrible, but Alright. We'll call it minus three for the medium? Is that what we're saying? Yeah, if they're five hexes away, that's uh, that's minus three. Because it's minus 16 range, plus nine size mod, plus four rate of fire of 20. Okay, and at medium range, they're also going to be at half damage, too. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. What's the lasers? Hexes for full, yeah, for lasers. What about space accuracy? Do you get that? All right. All right, let's see. All right, you put a pretty good hurting on the Fargo ship now. And now it is oh, good. their turn to shoot at you guys. Fargo ship is shooting at... You guys? And that. So if we're doing close range, what was the modifier for them? Uh, let's see, we're calling medium at five. 
So yeah, call it as two. I'm assuming close range is going to be one, probably, or the space range of one. Oh, how about we say two? Just a... Which, okay. Yeah, where did it get back there? Right, space range one is 12, two is 14. Two is minus 14? Okay. Yeah. So, if I'm doing my math in public here, 14 minus nine gives me five plus four gives me minus one with accuracy plus one right Ah, it didn't take my monitors. All right, they are going to do four hits if you don't dodge. <clears throat> Uh, you should put our dodge on there. Uh, dodge should be eight. Oh. Yeah, our dodge is on there. Who's who's got the duty? Who didn't roll something? Eddie. Ethan. Ethan and Eddie have not. That doesn't count because she's not. She Ethan doesn't count. Eddie. She was a gunner. She's already shot. Okay. Oh, there you go. Well. Yeah, that doesn't help. Damn it, Jim! Did you add the handling of the ship? Ooh. Yeah, that makes it worse. I don't think you add that directly to dodge, though. Oh, but you guys have you DR for days. What, do you, you calculate the dodge and then add handling? Uh, if I recall correctly, yeah. No. Uh, I don't know. Oh, you yeah, know what? I yeah, bet you, you do. You bet you I have... didn't add handling. Yeah. Plus so combat reflexes. Worse. Zero, though. Ours is minus one. Oh, so makes it worse. <laughs> All right, so I get to shoot you guys full of holes. Nope. Hey, uh, put a crew hit entry on the abilities at seven. Crew hit. How's that sound? It'll work. All right, four hits culminates in a total of 25 total injury towards your ship. Out of what? 70. 70. Oh, yeah, it's not that bad. Uh, let's see in that. Is that nothing? That does penetrate. How many actual penetrations did we get? Uh, defined did penetrations? They all, they did all, all did. Oh, yeah, all yeah. four did some damage. 
So, uh, you know, we need a table for that. Two people getting hit, eh? I thought we just used the, uh, Through manifest and just rolled. Well, you can, but it'd be an ideal place for a table. Future reference. Where did that go? Oh, let's see. Uh, how do I want to? Oh, we got fifteen on there. I roll a d twenty. <laughs> I rolled a one. <laughs> no. Nice. That's terrible. I suppose. I suppose technically we are still on, still on this list too. Yeah, we're still on the list anyway. Yeah, it could still hit us in the shuttle. All right. So uh, who's who's the second one? Uh, the second one is. How much damage do they actually take? It's number three. Right. So oh, no, the not, uh, no. Akme hit is 1D cutting damage per five full points of penetrating damage the vehicle sustained. And that would that, be on that, that, was that the hit. Second one? So, second so we hit. had, yeah, second hit and fourth hit. Second hit would be four points. I got through, and third hit, and the fourth hit would have been five points. I got through. Okay, so one D for the now, second one. Now, those are D damage, though, right? Is it? Yeah, those are those are big ship damages that gets uh... multiple of the ten. So. Damn, you're gonna kill Ella. That's terrible. Well, what's what's that make the first one then? What ten? Space armor. <sighs> Makes the first one. So you said. What was the uh, advisor? For... Okay, so Sorry, 40, what, what was, base, so basically what was the actual penetrating could, damage? Okay, the actual penetrating damage after you calculate D is going to be 40. 40 and 50. 40 and 50. So that's going to be... eight D on the first one and ten D on the second. And it says D. if uh, if occupant damage exceeds 4D, the GM may opt to divide it among multiple occupants in 4D chunks. Hmm. And that's D6s? Uh-huh. And we said that was... The first for global was 8D? Yeah. Yeah, so you could drop, you could cut that in half and roll another guy on there. All right, let's do that. Or just keep the one you already rolled. Does the um, Pilgrim have ECM? It is That's true. true. Also got the uh, sandcasters. It is true. The sandcasters are available. Look at that. GM's trying to kill us all. No. I forgot about them. That adds a trying to kill us all. 40 DR for the moment. Staying alive is the PC's responsibility. Yeah. It's, I mean, if, if we're going to arbitrary the real... Uh, for this now, I'm gonna I'll have to give it back, give it to the baddies too. <laughs> so, see, what is that? 
two. Okay, so 140 makes it only one penetrating hit for a total of five points. Which would have been a crew miss in this case. Right. Means only a total of 11 damage to Calaman's ship overall. Unfortunately, the doggies were. don't have the sand casters. Surprisingly enough, I don't think they do. Makes sense. They're all about attack, attack, attack. Or Daka. Who's a good doggy? Yes, you are. Alright, so we'll do a quick retcon there. All right, so I will need uh, piloting checks. Uh, yeah. So who rolled that last one? Dodge, that was Ethan, so... Yeah. Nice roll. All right, so now my rolls. Yeah, so does the Pilgrim have ECM? Because that adds to the dodge. You get a plus one um, dodge bonus per ECM system installed to a maximum of plus three. I don't think it's identified. I, I don't believe Yeah, there's do. nothing listed as ECM. Yeah, because I think ECM is spaceships. And this was kind of built out of uh, the rules in Traveler. GURPS right. Traveler. All right, so against pilots, counter pilots. Ha! You. Only beat a him by two. And the Calaman ship, or the Barger ship by. Yeah, I should be adding handling to that. Oh. Should be adding him. Uh huh. Oh, so we got a more success handling. by six instead of seven. And Calaman will be a minus one as well. So he will be by four. And the Vargers will succeed by three. And Buck, will you give me a pilot roll for your cruiser? Um. And you should be at a zero for maneuverability. Actually, I think he's at a plus one for maneuverability. I don't know what the other modifiers are, so I'm just going to roll. Yeah, that's fine. Pretty low. Uh, that's pretty good. So, let's see. And I maneuver. So. Huh. I have your piloting as 14. Success by 5.
All right, so victory by one. The, uh, you guys will be able to shift range bands by one. For the, uh, the patrol cruiser. Patrols. He moves into basically short range with short range to Calaman ship and close range to the uh I'll just make him share the Varger ship. Then you guys succeeded by five, right? But not a difference of. Right. Okay. By six, actually. Oh, six. Okay. Success by six, because he got a success, success by seven, but we're at minus one for handling. So success by six. But, okay, so, but the difference is not enough. All right. Yeah, it has to be more than four. Gotcha. All right. So next round, Calman is going to take shots as well. And the Varger will continue to open up. Moving attack again? Yep. Mm -hmm. No, that was I was asking. Oh. I'm good with that. Keep Since moving. For whatever Keep attacking. Reason, yeah, for whatever reason, I don't see our icon on the chase thing. Yeah, I don't see any of them but the patrol cruiser. Man, this thing's all broke. Strange thing is, no one has reported the um, errors that we're getting. Well, to be fair, we are using something that's not officially... Uh, handled by it. You guys don't see the new tokens on the screen? I'm seeing new ones now. I see all of them but ours. I don't see uh, the, 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 the pilgrim. Still? Still. Did you add new I ones? I see it. We're talking about the chase sequence, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I don't see the pilgrim. Did you add a new one? I didn't add a new one. Well, I just kept... Okay, because it, it was not ah, appearing for me, and then suddenly it was. It got really big, and now it's really still big. It's our super secret enlarging Whoa, attack. Oh, buddy! That's... Now I'm getting blown errors. up with the, the, the errors. Warning, oh, download yeah. error for file, tokens, host, vehicles, from under modern, hex-based traveler vehicles, pilgrims.png, and reavers PNG. it looks like. I it's just exploding. One. It does not like those tokens. Are they shared tokens, or are they um, changing? They're host they? tokens. I have them as host tokens. How about do this? Clear all the tokens off that that map. We've got the Varga. Yeah. Now add them one at a time. And see if people get errors. Is anyone getting errors at the like moment? Negative. No, and I clear. I closed my console, and now it's empty. All right, I just got the Varger one, and it just went away with an error. It doesn't like me sizing it. Either sizing or maybe the move. I think it's the move. Yeah, it just went away. All right, so don't don't size it manually. Do a um, lock token scale and make sure that you're on the appropriate layer for it because you've got the layers mod running. 
Yep, it's on the appropriate layer. All right, so zoom the map in on your end and then um, do a lock token scale. So well, tiny. It shrunk. Now what? Right. Is it working for people now? Well, it didn't blow up. It hasn't blown up. It might be related to... Um, because Mark doesn't lock token scale. He manually resizes. So it might be having a problem with that because the image is really large or some shit like that, I don't know. Did somebody just drop? Yeah, I dropped for some reason. It's like my entire fantasy rounds just froze on me and I can't do anything. It doesn't like you. Well, now it doesn't. It was fine like 20 minutes ago. It's totally I Mark's don't... fault. He completely I don't... broke it. I don't think Fantasy Grounds likes, likes anybody tonight. Nope. It is being somewhat obstinate. So is anyone getting errors at the moment? And Nope. And everyone's seeing all tokens? There's uh, six. I see six at the moment. I see six. There I are four lights. Well. There are four lights! I think it might be an issue with the layers, maybe. Actually, it may Which not would be. make sense. It's probably not updated to the newest version. Except, didn't Phil get the D3DX error yeah. when you weren't, didn't have the layers operating? Or have you always had the layers going? No, we were getting, we were getting the D3D the whole time. Well, it seems to be cooperating now. I guess we're waiting for Ashlyn to jump back in. I can look there. Has. I'm back. Woo All right. Okay. So the only shift in position was the uh, right. The lightning just got closer to the Vargo ship, while well, you guys still maintained uh, distances as they are. So, How does that apply on the actual space map? We will say... Is anyone using scale UI? I don't know what that is. Uh, I think it's a console command. It lets you change the UI scale so things can be bigger or smaller. Ah, uh, right. Oh, I guess something like that. I don't know. Those guys are considered close, so... So, since this is space, uh, based on my stuff, I think we are at a total uh, modifier of plus one against the Kalamanaru ship. Okay, plus one Kalaman, and then I think um, that I'm not could sure mean a plus three, plus three to Varger. Right. Unless you're the patrol cruiser, then you're probably a plus five. Right, so whoever it is that's shooting the pulse thing is trying to shoot Kalamanaru. Maybe. Hold on. All right. Armin, you have the 
beam lasers? I don't anymore. Because I had to get out and now the thingy made bigger is gone. Hey, it's back, thanks. Problem solved. Uh, what was the uh, adjusted range to Kalamanaru? Adjusted range. It's still five. It's still five. So what's the modification thing in the jigger? So plus one you're gonna total. Be plus one total. That is. Yeah. Whew. Good gravy. Get his ass up. So like nine damage thingies. Well, he has to nine make potential the, uh, hits. defense. You have to make the defense first. So don't roll the damage until he tells you. Yeah, it's this many. Gotcha. All right, that's going to all hit. Ooh, buddy. So nine. Yow. But they all just note they do have their kick and sandcasters in their wake as well. Now, how did those work? You just they add DR. 40. Add 40 DR. Yeah, okay. Can you read off those damages? Hold on. 26, 19. Uh, 26, 19, 33, 20, 20, 26, 26, 28, 31. Sounds like she walked it in. All right, so, ouch. Total damage added 50 points. Boom! With one, two, three, four, five, six penetrations. Hmm. You know, I probably need to add that to the spreadsheet. That might be helpful. And add the uh, add the number of dice. There is no moon modifier for air, air for in space combat, right? Um, so it's straight up. I actually think yeah. there is. Eh, I, I will. Call it I don't that. think so. Oh, right. Now there's there's still going to be the one if you're dodging. So if the vehicle's dodging, it's, there's a penalty. I don't remember what it is. It's two or four, I don't remember. All right, so you put a mighty big hurting on that guy. All right, next up. Yeah, you... hold on. I was looking something up. Okay. Got the pulse thing. I'm trying to see what is it if you hit the vitals. Minus three. No, I mean, what what is the effect in oh. game terms? Uh, Does it reduce? I mean, is it is it still reduced by the uh, the the dr? Because you know, I only do five d. I, I expect a lot of that will be absorbed. Hello to oh, Bruno, who has joined a... us in the chat. Hello, Bruno. I don't think it, don't well, think it has I would, a... Uh, I'm... I don't think it gives you a vitals opportunity in Chase. Because that was one of the issues we had with the last one, where it's just like, why bother shooting at anything else? Yeah, okay. Uh... 
No, there was a thing somewhere. Damn. Ha! Holy cow, it doesn't matter. He gets it anyway. It takes what's a margin crit do. But what's the crit mean? First shot automatically hits, the rest can't be dodged. Or oh, the rest can be dodged. Nope. Not that I think that actually matters. Right, crit. Ooh, good one. I guess I should probably keep track of that. Thirteen. I guess see how many was that? Oh, eleven hits, wow. You had to do at least twenty points. Twelve. Jesus, man, come on. Fourteen. Fourteen. Oh, there's one. All right. So, so like two actual did any damage. Yep. So total additional damage was five more points. What's that there? Oh, so your first one would be considered half DR? No, it's uh, that's the pinpoint fire. That's what he was looking for. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, screw that, because you're ignoring the target size mod. That means that'd be a lot harder for me to actually hit. Well, yeah. So, minus nine, but you can do some serious hurt in there. All right, give me two uh, crew hit possibilities. What's the thing? Seven. All right. Did we roll for the other ones? The six? And I don't know if we did for hers. I don't think we did. Yeah, I need six rolls from you, uh, Loki. Oh, right, that's off of the crew hit. Damn it, I yeah. wish I had noticed that. I would have freaking just rolled off of that. So that crew hit uh, button on that screen, just roll it seven times. What, well, Ashley? Where's the crew hit button? That's, that's on the vehicle sheet. Yeah, if you look and scroll down to abilities... Five more? Jeez. Being very consistent. Ooh, there's one. Uh, it's a total of six. One more. Some really high numbers there. I think my dice don't like me. Ah, uh, probably uh. killed the crewman. Welcome to oh. my world. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we have one more turret to shoot. I think you were rolling it last time, right. Daniel. I have not rolled yet. You may fire uh, when ready. I'm firing because I'm ready. Which are you you're firing at Calaman's ship? Roger. We don't want him to escape. Apparently. 
I'd rather they didn't. Alright, that's four hits. Woo! Two, that mm, actually four points. got some. Okay, so four points, and so a total five points of damage. Negative 15. Hey. Want oh, you to blow it down. up. All right, give me two crew hits. Okay. And Buck, give me a... Who's the uh, patrol cruiser is going to be at close range, so you're going to be at a plus four. To the Varga ship. Hey, yo. Oh, that was the missiles. Oh, they're the same level. It's all right. Uh, missiles miss. I can't keep up. It's the same level. Okay, all right. Okay, so... Uh, max one hit. Ooh, that will actually miss. Hey, dodge that one. All right. All right. So, Calaman's ship is going to pour fire into... The patrol cruiser, as they are closest. Yep, they're going to blow them up. It'll be terrible. Um, we were saying that they're plus... You know what we need to do, right? We need to wait for them to get get to the point where they can't maneuver out of the portal and cut it off. All right, that's going to be five potential hits. I will need a dodge from the patrol cruiser. Can you dodge, Buck? Nope. nope. Tried. To. I thought that was going to be. I saw a five, a two, and then it looked like a low number, and then it rolled. Uh, you are DR90. You do have sandcasters, so you're DR130. Alright, so, ooh, the pounding on them. Let's see. As long as it isn't us. Wow, the whispers so look there cool. So there are going to be 29 for the first. Have beans. What's that, Brian? The whispers look cool. Yeah, they're different.
Uh, total of only 17 points of damage on those guys. But alas, no explosion yet. So 53 points total get, uh, is remaining on them. And the Varger ship will now fire. And they will shoot it. Since uh, the patrol cruiser has gained on them, they will fire all their stuff at the Varger as well. Or the Varger will shoot at the patrol ship as well. Oof, maximum seven hits. Dodge. Nope. Ew. Alright. I'm just gonna do I wish there was a way to tell, to roll multiple times instead of just clicking it multiple times. Her. Maybe. My heart bleeds for you that you're having to make all of those damage rolls. <laughs> <laughs> well, the stinky thing is, it's you know most of them are pro like uh. 23 is really no damage at all. Yeah, if it weren't right on the uh, right on the break point there, you could just roll it once and call it good. So, total overall injury... You know what your damage calculator doesn't to actually tell you? Hit points remaining. No, actually it doesn't. Doesn't it? Yeah, no, I thought it, it does. did. It does. 32. Alright, there's a lot of crew hits in there. I'm not going to worry. Okay, so lots of fire going back and forth. Any special maneuvers that uh, Eris or anyone wants to contribute to the ship's next round of dodges, uh, piloting rolls, etc. So Maybe is somebody going to be is somebody going to be below a third and be suffering speed drops? I'm sorry, what do you mean? Uh, damage if ships are below a third hit points. Uh, yep. yep. Half, half move and dodge, all that. Yeah, we'll do. Well, yeah, sure. Because we weren't given our, we weren't given any of them a speed bonus. Yeah, I know it's got a speed bonus right now. Well, that's kind of going to be weird because everyone's at Less than max speed, anyway. Yeah, you just, but if you it's just give like the. It... Yeah, I, I'd say half dodge for sure. Well, I was gonna say you could just give them give them a penalty. Yeah, that's true. Dodge seven though is penalty enough. <laughs> oh well, I mean to the uh, to their uh, give them a, a negative speed bonus. Oh, I see what you mean. Let's do their roll. 
Yeah, that'll work. I can do that. So the All Pilgrim right. has a high-powered transmitter, right? Like, not just high-powered, but, like, really high-powered? Uh, it's got a high-power receiver, more. Hello, runtime error. Okay. Because I would like to then turn that receiver into a transmitter and um, just throw as much gibbity gook into their radar, radar as possible and just mess them all up. Alright, so you're basically just going to flood them with... Uh, Random noise. Red noise. So basically create your own electronic countermeasure. Got it. Yep. Jam their targeting systems. With strawberry. It's raspberry. But anyway, darn it. That's, that's why he's use. using strawberry. Uh, Poisonberry. Okay. Alright, so give me a uh, roll, and if you succeed, you'll give everyone, or give the dodging guy a plus one. Give them a minus one. Whichever one you wish. Success! Well, I'll say plus one to dodge. Ish. Plus success ish. So, you, you want to be bonus to the... Uh, Bonus to defense. Bonus to defense. All right, so, uh, Eddie, what is your crewman doing to? Make things better or worse or otherwise. <clears throat> what was my crewman? It it doesn't really matter. You're basically just being a generic crewman that's doing some kind of taking some action to either increase your defense, re, uh, increase or increase their or apply a penalty to their uh, shots, or increase... He has or, a name. Um, he will be uh, increasing our defense. Okay. Success by one. You've increased your defense by plus two now. All right, Ella. I will need a uh, piloting roll. It'll be, a, it'll be a 16 minus 1, so it'll be a... Uh, plus 2? Oh, wait. Yeah, no, target defense. defense. Never mind, never mind. There. I just rolled. Cool. That's so, a good roll. See, it's at a minus 1, so it's a 10, so it's still a plus 6. Alright. All right, you will oh, definitely gain on the patrol cruiser. Oh my gosh. All right, so you will, if you choose, you succeed by 10 over the Varger. And only by three at Kelvin. So no difference in range from Kalaman's ship, but you can basically start to leave the Varger behind, I guess, here. Yeah. Okay. Are we no longer doing the move and attack thing where we're in close combat? Are we running now? Uh, that was, we were doing a move and attack, so that was the move part. Oh, okay. Very good. Okay, so victory by 10. You can move by two steps against the barber, so. Uh, 
All right. Disregard the uh, the close, short, medium. Just consider the range band or the difference in range bands from where you are. If that makes sense. Yeah, I was gonna. I was kind of thinking that as we were as we were going through this, it would probably need to remove the the words on the band there. Just have a generic band. That way, you could have multiple chases going on. Okay. So in this case, you're considered short range. You're kind of leaving the Varga behind at short, but they're still at short range. And behind you, uh, you're paralleling the patrol cruiser and you're at uh, medium range to Kellerman's ship still. So it probably looks something like... Have any of the spacecraft been reduced to less than one-third of their original uh, hit points? Because they can totally roll the 3D on the major damage table in uh, Traveler Interstellar Wars. I will have to remember to add that table. There's a 3D uh, yeah. table? Yeah, it's uh, Interstellar War, Traveler Interstellar Wars uh, 227. All right, so is at this point um, you get a uh, high G warning, and all the ship's thrust that you guys have been pouring in come alive as Dirt. everyone and it kills of, everybody in the ship. Everyone starts to rocket. You 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 can feel the ships starting to rocket forward, and uh, you're. Grav compensators kind of kick in. Everyone kind of sinks into their ship as your the ship starts to, you know, race forward. And juice. Eddie, somebody give me some juice. Eddie knocks an overhead bin and gets piled up on. Impaled even. Which at this point, missiles that were in the air will uh, also go to speed. So the patrol cruiser's missiles will uh, now catch up to the Varger ship, but the Varger's missiles will catch up to the patrol cruiser ship. They're going to blow we, each other up! Do we, by any chance, have any indication why all of a sudden this happened? Uh, you figure whatever was uh, dampening the uh, field is probably getting destroyed now somewhere on the space station. So it was, was that a... by a uh, runtime error. Was that accompanied by? I think by, that was my fault. Accompanied by an explosion at the at the base. Uh no the the proto goo started to deteriorate. Whatever uh, was controlling the uh, uh, speed limiter. So we actually don't see anything. Okay, very no, well. No, not yet. Based on Buck's calculations, you guys should. Be able to clear the uh, uh, clear the gate before uh, the station goes uh, critical. Hopefully, However, one thing that you're worried about now, Buck, is and this is because you you've only succeeded by like two in that roll. You didn't calculate what the potential effect of the gray goo would be. If it would speed things up or make things worse. <laughs> okay. Because it would start to deteriorate all this other safeties as well. All right, so. <clears throat> Stupid runtime errors. Oh, you guys still getting runtime errors? Yeah, I rotated our ship on the space map, and it disappeared, and then I suddenly started getting runtime errors. That's why it I have is. the little arrow there, so I know where the heck the ship is. That's weird, because I'm not getting that. Actually, is what you might want to try is... Is it back? Nope. It was. It was. It was. Continue, Brian. If you right-click on the the map, um, 
Minecraft. And then select the window thing. Resize. Yep, and then you've got something that says resize to grid or something like that. Yeah. Try doing that because that's the only thing that I've done different from, say, you. Runtime notice. S image grid equals 18 pixels, dimension in inches. Blah, 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 blah. Didn't do nothing. Uh, I did that, and it gave me something to do with the, the TV size set. I didn't even think I had that turned on. Yeah, well, wow, it's listed on the it's listed on the mods as being active. It's interesting is if I zoom in using my uh, scroll wheel, I get script warning on Zoom, recursive control event, or call terminated. Image control play underscore image. I think that's probably it's probably going to be related to the layers. You broke yeah. it, Mark. Hey, I had layers off. <laughs> you broke it. I don't even have layers loaded on my machine. All right. So, I will. I'm not going to bother with damage rolls right now, but give me some uh, combat rolls anyway. I don't, uh, so, if you hit, you hit. If you don't, you miss. I just want to see how effective people's shots are going to be this round. And Armin, I'll need yours. With modifier? Uh, no, just make. Uh, yeah, give me a plus. Uh, yeah, plus one. Plus one. Yeah. And Buck, you can also throw me a roll as well. All right. Shoot well. Are you shooting? At, is uh, the patrol cruiser still shooting at the Varger ship? Yes. Okay. Ho! Oh. All right. So we will look like okay. So you guys will trade fire. Is your Caliban ship? Uh, go becomes disabled and starts to drift. Uh, you can tell <laughs> you're going to send it. It's not going to make it to the uh, uh, port. However, okay. the uh, the patrol cruiser sends more fire into the uh, Barger ship, uh, which does some significant damage. However, the Varger ship launches another volley of missiles and. Uh, focuses fire on the pilgrim. You guys almost think that yeah, you're kind of doomed as uh, the incoming ship, the, the missiles come in. However, you watch the missiles kind of just before they reach and you guys start t trying to pick them off. The missiles kind of do a quick like right hand turn and go flying off target. It wasn't me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you're stuck in the shuttle anyway. Uh, however, the aimless will, you know, does take the uh, uh, rounds from that blast. Let's do one damage roll and see how damaging that will be. Eh. Okay. I just do one damage and. You guys have 140, right? You guys have some serious DR on this thing. You build it. Yeah. I didn't quite... I was like, 100? Yeah, that yeah, that thing is a flying brick. <laughs> Although, when you look at some of the bigger ships, they got even heftier DR. Well, it was yeah. a warship. Yeah. DR yeah, 100 is not exactly high. As ships go. All right. <clears throat> Ship starts to drift. What do you guys do for the next round? Oh, give me what actually. Tell, like, give drift? me. Uh, give me a piloting roll. 
for Ella. If uh, you guys have any additional bonuses that you want to give her for All Eris and Eddie. Is it still off of a 16? It'll still be off of a 16 minus 1. This will be to assist Ella. Okay. So you will bet it at a straight 16. Eris. C. Uh, what? Yeah. Hey, are you making a roll to help Ella's roll? Absolutely. All right, Ella, you're a 16 plus one. Then you just roll. <laughs> All right. Okay. And he can't be a roll. And give me a piloting roll for Buck's ship straight. Right, so, Not so good. Okay, so success by zero, success by six. Barger ship succeeds by a critical. Um, so, there's some jockeying for position as you guys kind of come around and you watch, before you guys do anything, you watch the gate activate uh, with the patrol cruiser uh, getting ready to make its run. However, the Varger ship cuts you both off and uh, positions itself before you guys, before the gate. I will need... Is is anyone in the shuttle actually aware of what's going on? Uh, you probably have a feed. But just as yeah. the Corsair kind of starts to maneuver into position, you watch one of its drives. You, you can almost see the drive plume kind of flame out. Nope. And it takes a... it You know, then all of a sudden it uh, co flies off... You know, turns off course and impacts the side of the ring itself causing it to start to flicker uh -oh. and uh, all of a sudden <laughs> on the your you start getting an, uh, an SOS signal From uh, what looks like an eject ejection pod that you no one noticed uh, occur prior to the barger ship impacting the uh, the ring. Global calls out, "Hey, uh, Ella, I've got a strange uh, uh, SOS signal. It matches one of your." cruise codes. What do I do here? Mm -hmm. One of my crew codes? That's weird. Shoot it! Shoot and it! And he passes it down to you guys. <laughs> Just mean. Traitor! And, uh, the uh, encryption comes back as a, uh, a match for Psy. Oh, Lord. Ella kind of rolled her eyes and said, I should have known. I'm currently living at his place. It's fake. So, she'll, uh... Do I go through kind the of... ring, Ella, or do I pick up this crew? Because I, I got one shot at this. Pick him up. Pick him up. All right. She'll just kind of wave her hands like, I give up. <laughs> All right, so you guys uh, feel the ship kind of bank for a moment, and uh, there's a uh, metallic crunch 
as uh, your ship positions itself to you know catch the errant uh, pod. And just as you guys kind of catch onto that pod, you see the patrol cruiser clean air, you know, clear that gate just as uh, it starts to flicker and spark out, leaving you guys behind with the uh, with Calaman's ship floating in space and the, your gate closed. Don't. Oh. We should have let Sai go. I couldn't. And j almost at the set that same moment, you guys get a uh, high energy warning as the station you know, goes critical. And Sai is destroyed in the in the blast. Uh, it starts to go. You could you know, you're all your indicators show that you know there's a massive power spike occurring at the station. <sighs> well, <laughs> Lorraine, all of a sudden, uh, uh, give me a uh, notice check, Abe. A notice check or a perception check. Sorry. Okay. Global all of a sudden say, you know, calls out, Ella, I have a gate that just opened. I don't know what happened, but do I go through it? And she is totally fiddling with the dial. Oh, wait. No, she doesn't have the dial. I Dude has the she... dial. Or you have the dial. No, we don't. You have this. Oh. Uh, no, that's right. Okay. It's fine. Okay. It so what you, you, what you hear is... Uh, Lorraine gets on the uh, the uh, comms and yells for a global to set the dial to a, a certain pattern. And when he does, he calls out, it's like, whatever you did, Lorraine, it caused one of the gates to open. We're going for it. Cause the said, other go for it. What's it, the yeah. worst that could happen? Right. As you kind of watch, as uh, the video feeds kind of show, a lot of the gates start to kind of do this. They they all looked kind of powered but inactive, but they s almost like one by one they start to get this dead look on them, and one you know, the closest gate comes alive for uh, for a moment while you guys make your uh, way to it, but then it starts to also flicker, and you can almost see the. Uh, like the event horizon of it start to fade out and power down just as you guys reach it. You kind of feel that kind of odd, like, pull, like you're almost getting stretched. And then everything goes white as uh, the ship passes through the gate. And you guys are and left. Explodes. Everyone is left unconscious. So this is how it ends. And this is how it ends. Sigh! Right. No, I meant everything. Wave hit. Oh, that's literally how it ends. And that's how it ends, literally. <laughs> cool. I had to take some uh, narrative litter... Uh, uh, Liberties. Had to be a little liberal liberties. on the, the yeah, some liberties there narratively. That's fine. Good job, Sai. Thanks. Couldn't have Ruined disabled, everything. Couldn't have disabled have that ship a long time ago, you bastard. He was trying. I was making rolls. <laughs> well, cool. So now we're unconscious somewhere and we have no idea. Right. I know. Great. Only Bill knows, yeah. Bill knows. <laughs> Fabulous. At least that gives me plenty of place to put. That's right. Radiation wave hit. We got shot through a wormhole. Well, you right. did kind of go through a wormhole. <laughs> Break time. Now we're being hunted by an insane military commander. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Surrounded by strange aliens, my friends. 
surrounded by frickin' idiots. <laughs> All right. Well, you left one uh, uh, good. Well. All right. And we we got out of there, but wait, did the thing blow up? Uh, you were registering it going uh, super critical just before, you know. So we you're pretty certain you're pretty certain it blew up behind you. It was what was causing all the gates to die. Right. The best way you could describe them was dying. Awesome. Good job getting out of that frying pan, guys. This is this is uh, totally us. That we go, we find some ancient space relic, and then we blow it up. And we blow it up. It's the way to do it. Nice Perfect. work. I leave you guys alone for one week, and you blow up an entire space station. <laughs> At least it was only That's one right, this time. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I take one little nap. <laughs> and all of a sudden, everybody's got delusions of grandeur. They can blow up space stations. But this group is tame compared to our Star Wars group. We blew up everything. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> even more so from b even before I got there. Apparently, <laughs> we couldn't we couldn't leave a place until we blew something up. Nice Just proper courtesies. What are we doing about points? Uh, call it. Three for the end of campaign. Is that normal? Already. I mean, I figured two throughout, then an extra bonus point for the end of the story. That is normal. Or is it? Dun dun dun. End of the story with a little e. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is the end. It's not your turn anymore. You know, it's not my turn anymore. It's like the end of uh, Flash Gordon. Just the end with a question mark. And, and an, an evil, an evil <laughs> maniacal laugh going on in the background. That's season and that finale. laugh sounds it, like Phil. It's a season <laughs> finale, is what it is. Awesome. Oh. Wow. I stretched that went across 11 or 12 episodes there. Wow. 15. Wow. 15. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we, bl we blew our quota out um, on this campaign. Well, I hope you guys had some fun with it. And yeah. It wasn't too oh, yeah. cliche all across the board with. Not always wrong with cliches. No, but I mean, hopefully there was at least a little bit of like, I wonder what's going to happen next, and that, okay, this is going to happen, <laughs> followed by this. There were plenty of surprises. It was good. And the great thing is, is I can bring in some of your bad guys, or not. Some of them all survived, because we didn't see Brynn mm. die. Nope, That's true, no body, no death. Uh, Where would they get a key, though? No, if she wasn't were. She wasn't here. Right. You weren't, yeah. I, I was uh, intentionally ambiguous on who was on the Calaman ship. That's right, so good old Calamanaru might have survived and be angry at us. But not Terran. We need more enemies. Terran got Bring screwed. It. Taren got blowed up. He could come back. Okay, probably not. <laughs> but well, actually, I just had hey. a thought. It'd be kind of funny as if, uh, as they were evacuating, they grabbed Cal uh, Taren's body, but they didn't realize he had gotten infected. <laughs> uh -huh. Taren's clone. No, we got uh, we got video of him dying. And it reaches out, it reaches out. 
and you're the only one that's going to get that mark. That's true. I guess I am the only one other than you who's read that whole entire series. I can make some guesses. Cool, cool. All right. So, what do we need next week? I guess is going to be Daniel, right? Yeah, God help us. Before we start discussing next week, um, are we good to end the stream here? For we are travel? good to end the stream. Thank you Thanks for, for all the watchers. Thanks uh, for all the fish. Uncross the stream. <laughs> <laughs>